Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back in. We got mystery boxes. Mystery boxes, that's right. Um, yeah, really quick. Uh, I want to say, what are these, $29.99? Uh, four packs and a chance. Or is it $19.99? Something like that. Or $24.99. Anyway, and a chance to get your hands on uh, some crazy promo pack card or like collector boost pack card or something like that. And then as a kicker, I'm going to throw in this promo pack. We're going to crack it open and see what happens out of this mystery box. One. Oh boy. This could end terribly. This could end terribly. Um, I don't recommend you buy this. Uh, if I was to be nice and kind to your wallet, I would not recommend that you do that. I don't think it is uh, the, the most intelligent uh, decision you will ever make in your life if you went and purchased one of these. So there you have it. Um, oh, I do like this though. I feel like there are so many. Like they printed this just into oblivion. Curated Mysteries, absolute trash. But then you have a Tally Primal uh, Storm, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's the promo version, so that's legit. A um, few bucks right there. But will we hit anything big? Oh, gosh. All right, starting off with Ixalan. Come on, all I want is a Carnage. Give me the Carnage, Tyrant. I say it every time. I remember when Carnage was like 25 bucks because of all the play it saw. So Ixalan's cool. You got to go back a little bit. A lot of dinosaurs. Um, this one really got me excited because uh, what kid doesn't like dinosaurs, you know? And I'm a kid at heart, of course. Siren Storm Tamer. Ooh, that was like a $3 card at one point. I think still might be up there in price. Nice foil. Kabbalah Warden of Waves. That is a uh, one powerful little Merfolk wizard. Spells your opponents cast that target a Merfolk you control cost two more to cast. Abilities your opponents activate that target a Merfolk you control cost two more to activate. Until they just board wipe you and you're like, oh man. <laughs> so nice foil hit. And then we got Thematic Compass. That's right. The old uh, flip lands here. Um, pretty neat. For uh, the three, search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library. At the beginning of your end step, if you control seven or more lands, transform Thematic Compass. Add a cover of this. Untap target attacking creature and opponent controls removed from combat. They got a card like that that was printed recently that allows you to do that where um, you can remove target attacking creature from combat. You're just going to pay, I think, four it is. So, All right, we got Rivals of Ixalan. This set sat at like 75, 80 bucks a booster box for the longest time. There was like just not much, uh, not many people happy with the set. I guess uh, it just didn't perform well. Let's say that. It didn't perform well. People were happy. People like Dinos. This was the second one, uh, the follow Ixalan, the rivals of Ixalan. But uh, it seemed like the power just was not there in this set. Strength of the pack. There were a few real nice bombs that did come from it. Uh, this is a really fun card also. It, uh, not bad for the uncommon slot. Stormfleet Splint, uh, Sprinter. I don't think it saw a lot of play. Even though it could not be blocked. Uh, just during the standard, it just didn't see a whole lot of play. And then Golden Guardian. Oh, yeah. For Deuce, Golden Guardian fights another target creature you control. When Golden Guardian dies this turn, return to the battlefield, transform it under your control. And you got Goldforge Garrison, which is kind of cool. You can add two mana of any one color to your mana pool if you tap it. Or you can tap, uh, pay four, create a 4-4 four, four colorless, colorless Golem Artifact Creature token. Maybe in like a Brawl deck or Commander deck, you could throw like a one of that in. I mean, obviously you can only throw one of but, yeah, the, that thing never took off either. Right now, someone's like, oh, it's my Golden Guardian deck. Man, I run that and got, like, all these play sets of Loxodon in there. Anyway, um, M19, which uh, for a while was not doing too great. This card's cool. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. You can go infinite with that thing. Um, as long as you keep gaining life. But M19 uh, sat for a while on the shelves. And now it's just starting to get a little bit more exciting with M19. Wow, it's crazy to see this. Because we have a common now that came out. I think it has first strike. It's a one drop, one, two flying. How nuts is that? So that's like an upgraded Rustwing Falcon. That's that's insane. Uh, Gutter Snipe, which was hailed by a lot of people back uh, the first time it appeared, you know, um, many years ago, uh, as a great card. Uh, but it just did not live up uh, to the hype and, and the standard it, it came from M19. Just did not do it. Reclamation Sage, that's a great card, fun card. A um, lot of solid cards here. Um, this card, you know, another reprint. A lot of, uh, what do you call it, 
core sets. They're just nothing but reprints. I think you get a, there's a few new cards in each one, though. Um, not sure how many. I can't remember how that works. Apex of Power. Mythic. That's cool nonetheless. Uh, 10 drop. Exile the top seven cards of your library. Until end of turn, you may cast non-land cards exiled this way. If this spell was cast from your hand, add 10 mana of any one color. So basically, it's allowing you to play a bunch of cards um, if you play it from your hand. And you get 10 mana to do it. That's a lot of ramp, man, uh, for you to get to Apex of Power. Did not see any play. Cool card. Um, but man, that casting cost really, really hurt this card's uh, playability for sure. Uh, Trade Cool Expanse. And we got an emblem, Tezzeret, with no Tezzy in sight. All right, fair, fair. All right, next pack. I'm in debt. You could pull something dirty out of here, you know? You could get, um, uh, like those, what do they call them? Not expeditions, but um, the lottery kind of cards, you know? Um, it could happen to you. But another set that's really weak, but because of these lottery cards they threw in here, um, it made it, uh, I don't know, it, it, they, when they put something like that, these masterpiece cards in a set, nine times out of ten, that set, the majority of the cards, the power level, tends to be nerfed. You know, there's a few exceptions here and there, but that's usually how it goes. So, unfortunately, this one was a victim of that. Lay Bear of the Heart, Throne of the God Pharaoh, Two Drop, Legendary Artifact, Banaskadoosh, Swampy, and the Vizier. Oh, I bet the masterpieces make the chocolate taste terrible. All right. Well, we didn't get nothing out of that. Nothing crazy. Um, I'll throw these over here. And we got a Japanese Ikoria booster pack for our, like, fun little promo card. That's right. Or promo pack or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's pull something. Can we pull something? Oh, that's something. Okay. We got something. Um, so all Japanese uh, text there. And then, uh, yeah, there you go. We got one of these guys. And that was about it. Um, I was really hoping for something Godzilla-like uh, to be in this pack. But no such luck. Okay, there you go. Japanese, I don't know. It seems really uh, difficult. It seems really difficult to read that. If you don't know how to read it. You know what I mean? All right, let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. So there we go. Moving on. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get the sorting going. Bada bang. Oh, you can go over there too. There you go. So that uh, was a painful lesson we learned. No doubt about it. On to the last one. What a what do we got? What a what do we got? Mystery box. Mystery box. What mysteries lie inside? How much will Joey's wallet hurt after this? All right. Let's see what we get. Boom. Boom. Well, nothing inside the box. We got ourselves another curator of garbage. All right. Looks like nothing too hot with an Itali. We're going to fly through this one, though. All right. Another Itali, another curator mysteries. Um, I have to say I have about 100 of those now, without a doubt. Uh, realistically, probably like 15, 20, because I always buy these janky promo packs, you know, that just end up making me bend over. Um, and take it like a champ. Uh, but that's all right. It's for entertainment. We'll see what we get. Dive down. All right, all right. The call. Squire, Angusar, and Shane Dusk. Got the old Dusk Apostle. Whenever one or more non-token vampires you control, it, create or uh, attack, create a 1-1 one, one white vampire creature token with lifelink. This did see a little bit of play in vampire builds um, at that time, at the, during its standard. A little bit of play. I don't think it's. I don't think it was like a, a four of in every deck or three of, you know, with the legendary. But it did see some play. I think mostly it was like a two of. There were just other uh, vampire vampires that went with it a little better. Um, I'm interested to build maybe some cleric uh, support with that angel card. We'll see what we can do. C red. That's right. All right. Dive neck breaker and a queen of awakening. At the beginning uh, of your upkeep, each player draws a card. If you have the city's blessing instead, only you draw a card. Okay. Well, I mean, you're giving your opponent some advantage there, um, for sure. You're like, hey, man, you like cards? So do I. Let's just draw a bunch. I don't know about that. Um, did not see much play <laughs> whatsoever. It's interesting because some of these cards, if you put them in a different standard, they would do so much better, you know? 
but uh, during that during its time, it's like no, 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 and then. All right, we got M nineteen here. Sleep, cool card. Dragon supplier sees a lot of play. Vivian's invocation. No, this card never saw play whatsoever. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them on the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. When a creature is put in, uh, onto the battlefield this way, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature and opponent controls. Cool, but not, man, it's just too steep. Not really at all, you know? Boneyard and Inferno Helion. There you go. Fun four drop or trample. Maybe this is one you got to return back your hand or something. Yeah. At the beginning of each end step, if Inferno Helion attacked or blocked this turn, uh, its owner shuffles it into their library. You didn't see any play as well. Did not see any play. Amonkhet. Amonkhet, will you just change my entire day today? Can you just, like, do something really nice? Let us pull an invocation or something, you know? Give a, give a, give the crowd a big old smile. Give Joey a happy time. Let's see. All right, Initiate. Kefnitz Monument. Some of these uh, monuments are worth a pretty penny from this set. Servant, Solidarity, Plague Belcher. Blech. All right. So what did we learn today? That we got absolutely burned. Uh, really, really bad. There's no two ways about it. Uh, this was terrible. If you watch this, um, I don't know what to say to you. Thank you, I guess. Um, it's been a real disaster. And um, we're going to end on a disastrous note. And that's there you go. I mean, I don't think it gets much worse than that card we pulled out of this pack. So um, with all that being said, that's a I love this card, though. <laughs> I love this card a lot, man. I had a lot of fun building uh, decks with uh, Star X for sure. Well, that's the whole kit and caboodle, guys. Um, <laughs> keeping it real. This was a dumpster fire disaster. Um. Yeah, you couldn't pay someone to want to sit through this again. I'm just saying. Thank you so much, guys. I'm Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming. Skadoosh. But what about the promo pack? All right, let's see the promo pack. Let's see what we get. I forgot about it. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Okay, there's a code for you guys. I'll put it like that so it's easy to read. All right, cool. Let's draw Tallyman. Sweet card, though. That is a sweet card. Let's just tutor up whatever the heck you want. But your opponent gets to do the same thing. So that's kind of brutal. Masked Vandal. Legit. And, oh, cool. Battle Mammoth promo. And that's a nice way to end the video. All right. We will take it. Baking up for teenage crime.